Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Our Lord and our Master, we give you all the praise and adoration. You are worthy of our praise, O oh God, unto you alone be all the adoration. Today, too, we thank you so much for the gift of another beautiful day. We bless you so much. Thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, for all that you did for us this weekend. Father, we bless and magnify your wonderful name. Today, too, my Lord, we thank you that most people are on holidays and we believe the Lord you keep them safely, oh God, especially our loved ones who have traveled and those who are even around but are moving up and down because they want to explore places. We pray that you protect all of them, oh God. Take them to and from their various destinations and then bring them back safely. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Spirit of God, that because you are always with us, today too, you glorify your name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? Today too, we'll take our devotional reading from John chapter 17, the verses 6 to 9. John 17, 6 to 9. Let's hear the word of God. I have revealed you to the ones you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything I, ha I have is a gift from you. For I have passed on to them the, messages, the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you, and they believe you sent me. My prayer is not for the world but for those you have given me because they belong to you. Oh, how I love this prayer that Jesus made for his disciples. If you are a disciple of Christ, this prayer is for you. God knows his own and he intercedes for them. Jesus is talking to the Father. I have revealed you to the ones you gave me from this world. So Jesus has chosen us from this world and he has presented us to the Father that these are the ones who have believed in me, those who have availed themselves to be washed by the blood of Jesus. Jesus knows us. He knows his sheep and we know our shepherd. And he says that he has brought us his word. We have believed and so, he is presenting us to the Father. Now Jesus sits at the right hand side of God, the Father Almighty, interceding for his people. He has not left us alone, just as he interceded for his disciples on this earth. In the same way, the Bible says that he is seated at the right hand side of God, the Father Almighty, interceding on our behalf. And he said that, he has passed the message to us. Brethren in the Lord, it is like a baton race. Jesus has passed it. He passed it first of all on to the first disciples. And they have also passed it on until now. We also need to pass it on. We need to tell people about Jesus. We need to let the world know who Jesus is. But are we doing this with our lifestyle even before we start, we start talking? We start speaking to people. Our lifestyle should be that of God. The true nature of God must be revealed in us. And he says in verse 9 that my prayer is not for the world, but for those who have given me, who you, those you have given me, because they belong to you. Brethren in the Lord, that is why when we accept Jesus, we have to stay pure for him. We have to take his footsteps. We have to talk about him. We must be his mouthpiece. We must be his hands and feet, his eyes. Everything we do must be like Jesus is speaking. Hallelujah. Let us submit to him, commit ourselves unto him. If someone comes to provoke you, just think about what Jesus said today, that we belong to him. Therefore, we need the strength of the Holy Spirit to guide us. 
Let's invite him that today, even as we start the day, may he lead us to overcome every sort of temptation. God bless you for availing yourself. May the Lord lead you through the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. God bless you. Share the word. If you have not subscribed, please do. God richly bless you for doing that. Bye-bye.